It's mm. the 28th of March, 2024. Yeah. We just got married. How do you feel? I feel amazing. I feel loved and happy, filled. Welcome everyone to the Royal Wedding. <laughs> I want to welcome you all here today at the gorgeous Button Factory to celebrate the marriage of Kate and Sam. These two are so happy to have you all here today to celebrate their love and commitment to each other. They both recognise you all as some of the most important people in their world, so they are over the moon you're all here today with them. All they ask of you is to be happy, laugh, drink, eat, and then lots of dancing later on, because this is exactly how these two live their lives. <laughs> Some say first impressions are lasting impressions. Sam's first impression of Kate, well, it wasn't much because Kate really didn't pay him any attention. As he introduced himself, she said a casual hello and then went back to her conversation. Obviously, this was not a deal breaker, otherwise we wouldn't all be here today. Kate, however, says Sam is wrong on how they met. In Kate's words, my version of events is that we met for the first time through friends at the Falls Festival about a month later. As the boys were preparing for Falls Festival, there was word of private school girls camping with us. <laughs> Which was a very big deal at the time. And this is where Sammy and Kate first met. That's cute, that's going to be hot. <laughs> I think we can both agree it wasn't exactly love at first sight. But what soon developed was like nothing I'd ever felt before. From the very beginning we just clicked and spending time together has always been effortless. It has been 2,931 days since I first told you that I loved you. We weren't even officially dating, but in that moment, hiding in the bathroom at Pricey's 21st birthday, <laughs> I somehow knew that one day I would be standing in front of you, just like this. When Sammy finally revealed to me that he was first seeing Kate, I don't think you could find a happier man. That was, pretty, that was a lot of gas. Oh, that was a lot of gas. <laughs> One of the best things about the beginning of Sammy's relationship with Kate was the fact that from the very start, Sammy, you've always been able to be yourself, which is why I imagine it wouldn't have taken Kate very long to fall in love with the perfect man that you are. Sammy, my best mate, I feel so privileged to call you that and I think I can speak on behalf of all of our boys in saying how loved you are by all of us. I feel blessed to have shared so many incredible memories together. You were genuine and candid. Are we looking at the cameras or are we still being candid? What you see is what you get with you, Sammy. You wear your heart on your sleeve. You're honest. You care. You have a really, really strong sense of right and wrong. You're absolutely passionate. When you're committed to something, you are all in. You are fiercely loyal about the things that matter to you. Sammy is an incredibly passionate and enthusiastic person. You will struggle to meet a more generous and selfless person than Sammy. If you're feeling a little uncertain, he will always be there to offer a word of support or encouragement. Yeah, is there any case going to cry when she walks down and sees you? Oh, probably, mate. Probably. Yeah, she's only human. So. Kind, generous, funny and clever is how Kate describes Sam. Fuck, I hope it doesn't go this bad with Kate down the Oh, fuck. Beautiful, caring and loving is how Sam describes Kate. I'm a model. You have such a gift of making everyone around you feel so heard and so safe in your presence. You're so fiercely loyal to the people that you love. You always go above and beyond. You share your time and your friendship and you offer unwavering support to everyone around you. Oh my god, this is scary. I feel like I'm going on Australian Idol. <laughs> One of the things we admire most about Kate is her intellect and humility. Kate's thirst for knowledge not only makes her an extremely interesting friend. Can we hug? And what it also does is it makes you a passionate partner and I can very confidently say that your life is going to be full of colour because of that. Hi. Thank you. It's no secret that I've been in love with her from the moment she was born. I was mesmerised with all the future could bring. It was apparent early on that she was quite intelligent with an inquiring mind and a caring soul. She still has that secret smile that always takes me back to when she was young. You <laughs> look great. You are humble, you are strong and you are joyous. And you make me so proud to be your dad.
The two of them both agree the 25th of March 2016 was the date that they officially became a couple. COVID really solidified their relationship. Before we knew what border closures and lockdowns were, Kate was living in Tassie. We faced an abrupt change to spending so much time together when Kate spent two years in Tasmania, completing a master's degree in teaching during COVID. We spent 11 months without seeing each other due to border closures, yet despite the distance and obstacles we faced, our love only grew stronger. For most it would have been a testing time to be apart for two years, but it is a true testament to the depth of their love for each other that they have been able to come back together and for their love to have grown even stronger. Kate, if I wasn't already certain, it was this period that made me sure that you were the person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. In the 2,931 days since, the love I have for you has rooted deep in my bones, becoming a part of me that is no longer separable from my own hopes, dreams and values. No matter the distance or chaos that has at times been between us, our love has been the one constant and immovable factor in my life. These two standing before us today are the real deal. There is no BS between them. Do you reckon we should start modelling after today? Probably. Yeah. No gender roles, just two amazing people who work together to create the life they want to live in. I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous. I don't like. <laughs> My dearest Kate, you're my best friend and I love you with all my heart. I wouldn't change one thing about you for the world. You make me a better person. I can truly be myself with you. You're the most caring, authentic and loving person I've ever met. So you look really beautiful to see. <laughs> I can't imagine not spending the rest of my life with you because there's no one else I'd rather do life with. Today, I give you myself in marriage. I promise to laugh with you, to cherish every moment we share and to encourage and support you in everything you do. I promise to be by your side, whatever life throws at us and to be there whenever you need me. Most of all, I promise to love you forever for the beautiful beautiful person you are. Sam. <laughs> the platitude around relationships often goes, falling in love is just like falling asleep, slowly and then all at once. For me, this was somewhat true. I fell in love with you how I fall asleep, straight away and deeper than humanly possible. <laughs> you are my best friend, my moral compass, my forever dance partner. Maybe I'll do like... Cool. Really cool. I don't know, what's my best dance move? Do your best dance? Yeah, there you go. And in a few more minutes, my husband. Mister, that's me. And that's you're... me. Yeah, wow. Loving you is the greatest privilege I've ever had. And all I can hope is that I'm lucky enough to have 20,000 more days with you. I promise to love you forever, even more than you love Richmond Tigers. <laughs> It's my absolute pleasure to introduce you for the very first time, the newlywed Mr. and Mrs. Holton! So how do you feel right now? I feel very excited. Mm -hmm. I feel happy I thought I would be very nervous today but I've actually felt quite relaxed the whole day. Well, that's a positive sign I think. And I still feel quite relaxed and I feel like this has just been the best day ever. His hello was the end of her endings. Her laugh was their first step down the aisle. His hand would be hers to hold forever and his forever was as simple as her smile. He said she was what was missing. She said she instantly knew. She was a question to be answered and his answer was, I do. Yeah, we got married now, so I'm not sure what's next, but anyway. Okay, we're not going to talk anymore, bye. <laughs>